I'm Sam Lyons, and today I'm going to share with you five tips that will help you get started on guitar and be able to play guitar faster and better uh, and not have to go through all types of different lessons, uh, weeks, months worth of lessons. If you're looking to get started uh, fast and wanting to learn songs, play your favorite songs, that's your goal. 99% of the people that take lessons uh, really are just looking to learn how to play uh, cards and take those cards to play songs, their favorite songs. Play along for themselves, their own enjoyment, family, friends, outings, church groups, whatever. So if you're looking to play songs and uh, for, for your own enjoyment, uh, and not have to worry about going through theory and bar cards and all that sort of thing. I'm going to share these tips with you that will get you started playing in a matter of days. Uh, you need, first of all, you need a simple, focused course, a method of uh, instruction that's going to take you and condense everything down into just a few things that you would need to do to get really, really good uh, at playing the guitar. And so you need a course that's going to do that. Uh, also, what, what I'm going to share with you today uh, is that when you're playing, when you're playing, uh, starting to play guitar, you're learning your first cards. It's very, very important uh, to be able to make the cards, uh, make the cards sound right. And first of all, you'll want to learn the cards. Let's say you're going to be learning the G card. Okay? So what you would need to do is focus on the position of the G or whatever card you're learning and be able to play it and play it clear where all the strings ring out clear. First thing, you want to do that with whatever card you're learning. Let's say you're learning the G, the E minor, the C, and the D. You'll want to take those cards and make sure they're ringing out clear. That's the first thing you want to do. Okay. Once you do that, then you're going to want to take those cards and just change from one card to the other uh, to be able to move from one card to the other freely. So you just take it and just take whatever card you play, whether it be G or E minor or C or D, play them together and be able to change from one to the other clear. Best way to do that, just strum them, G, E minor, okay, C, and D. So that then, once you're able to make the card sound clear, and then be able to change from one card to the other, the third thing now would be able to take those cards, change from one to the other, and strum along with the card changes, okay? So what you want to do is just know your cards, create a strum, and just start changing between the cards. Okay. Now, I want, I want you to be able to take your guitar and in a matter of three, four, five, six days, a week at the most, be able to play four chords and play them well, make them sound good, be able to change from one to the other, and play real songs. That's what I like for you to do. Uh, and in order to do that, uh, 15, 20 minutes a day, practice uh, each and every day is the right amount of time. Don't over practice, just don't over practice. Keep it simple, 15, like I say, 10, 15, 20 minutes a day is all you need. And you'll be able to play the, the, uh, the cards uh, and start using the cards in, in the song. Uh, one thing I want to share with you, if you're brand new to the guitar, first thing you want to do when you sit down and play is tune your guitar. Have your guitar in tune every time you play. Uh, super important. So many uh, beginner students start off and not, of course, you don't know how to tune. And the best way to learn how to tune is just buy your electronic tuner, like the one I use here on the end of my guitar. It's an electronic tuner, got an LED readout, and all you do is turn it on, you hit your string, it's going to show what string you're on, and when that, 
display shows in the middle that strings in two you move to the next one and pick it up and you do that right down through all six strings super easy to use they're fantastic your guitar is going to be in perfect tune each and every time so that's the first thing you want to do is have you have a guitar have your guitar in in tune for sure also another tip i want to share with you is when you go to play your cards let this joint right here the last joint in your fingers bend like that like a claw and that allows the finger to be more up and down more vertical to where when you go to play your cards the the, the just the tip of your finger is actually playing the notes that's the way you want to grab it just like that okay so keep that in mind bend, bend your fingers the last joint in your fingers and that way when you come around you'll be pressed on the very tip of your finger and you won't tend to touch the string next to it uh, causing some dead notes. Uh, another tip I want to share with you is when you're playing your cards, when they, when I talk about playing, say on the third fret, uh, these are your frets, of course. Third fret, one, two, three. If I told you to play on the third fret, the sixth string, which is a big string uh, here at the top, that's the sixth string. When you press it, you want to press it right next to the fret, not on top of it, not way back at back here. As close to it as you can get it without being on top. And what that does, it allows you to uh, have to press uh, with less pressure to be able to make that that note sound clear. And as you move by. You hear it starting to buzz a little bit. It'll cause buzz, and it's also going to be harder to press to make it sound clear. So, on every card, when you press, when you play the card, you, uh, you press the fret as close to it as you can, or whatever fret you should be playing. Another great tip. Uh, one one other tip I want to share with you is the type of pick you use. I like to use this little triangle type uh, pick. Uh, this is a Jim, Jim Dunlop plastic dial uh, pick, not plastic, it's dial uh, I use I use about a 46 millimeter, this is a 46 millimeter, that's what I like. But in that 42 to 48 range, it's good. And the reason for that is when you scrub through the strings, if your pick is too thick, one thing it's going to tend to do is get hung up, you'll be dropping it in the sound hole or on the floor. So it, that's what's going to happen with it. Uh, also, when you're strumming, if you have a thin pick, a thinner pick, you don't want too thin. But like I, like I say, 42, 48, in between there, millimeter. Uh, when you strum, you get a lot less string noise. It's a quieter sound. And it goes through the strings, it flows through the strings much easier. So that's going to help you. Okay. So here, again, you, you need a focus course. A simple focus course is going to take you and you'll be able to learn say four cards take those four cards learn them well be able to change from one to the other be able to make them sound clear smooth even change them from one to the other and you'll be set to go uh, now i have put together what i like to call my magic cards and they're four cards they're g they're e minor next to the c and then the d they're four cards, and I play them a special way. Not the standard traditional G, or C, or C, or E minor D. A special way. A, a way that you'll have two fingers anchored down. What I mean by anchored, they won't move. They'll be in a certain position, they'll stay in that position. Only two fingers are going to be doing the movement for the four cards. And I put together uh, a little mini course on this. I call them a magic four cards, and it's going to allow you to learn these four cards. And like I said, you're going to learn them really, really quick because of the way I'm showing them. And then you're going to be able to put them together. And when you get to where you can switch from one to the other, make them sound clear, you'll be able to play hundreds of songs. Uh, it'll get you playing fast. So if you've been struggling trying to learn with all kinds of courses and bar cards and scales and riffs, 
push it to the side. The, there's a place for that, but it's down later down the road. If you're just starting out, want to play songs, want to play cards, this is the way to go. I wish I'd had this back when I first started many, many years ago. Too many years to even think about. But it, it is a fantastic way to get started quick. So what I've done is I've put together the four cards with a training video on how to make the card. Also on the same page at the bottom there's going to be the, a, a card diagram, a card chart for the four cards that go along with the video. I'm going to put the link down in the description. Uh, just click that link uh, and it's going to take you to that page with the training video and the four card. And you'll learn the cards, you'll learn how to play them, you'll learn how to practice them, how to change from one to the other smoothly, evenly making them sound right. It's completely free. There's no charge. Nothing on the page to try to sell you anything. Completely free. Focus on those four cards and you're going to be playing those four cards by the end of this week. And certainly, certainly songs using those four cards. Like I said, there's hundreds of songs. Uh, and there's also, once you learn those four cards, there's another way you can use uh, what I like to call my little magic trick or magic tool that can take those cards and even make your card uh, play easier, not as hard to press. And it will also let you play thousands of songs using those same four cards. And we'll talk about that in the, in the next video. Uh, but for now, click the link below, get started uh, on my little course on this a little mini course on these four cards, how to make them, how to strum them, how to practice them. Uh, and you'll, you'll be so amazed at the progress you make so quick. And this is the whole idea is to get you fired up and see, hey, it's not so hard. You just have to have the right course, the right teacher, and, and the, showing you the right, right way to get started. That's what it's all about. I've been doing this over 40 years, and I'm more fired up now today uh, teaching guitar that I ever have been because there's so many people uh, emailing me every day telling me how successful they're being following my lessons uh, and using my, my lessons to learn how to play guitar. So click the link below. Uh, it's in the, in the description. Also there's a link to my home page where you'll find uh, my best beginner guitar lessons course, 38 step-by-step -step lessons, video course, video lessons that will take you uh, 38 weeks worth of lessons. If you were coming to me here, it's well over $1,000. I'm giving those to you free also. And so you can go through those, take your time. Of course, it's going to be a much more involved training training course. And uh, But again, to get you kickstarted, to get you going fast, these magic four cards, this little mini course on these four cards, how to use them, how to play them, how to strum from one to the other, how to make them. It will get you started. So the links below, it's going to say Magic Four Cards. That's the link you, you click on. It's going to bring you to the page. Uh, leave your comments. If you enjoyed this video, if you enjoy what I'm doing, if you're getting some benefit from my lessons, please leave your comments. I love hearing from all of you. And uh, it, it's amazing how my channel has grown to be the size it is. And it is growing by leaps and bounds. And it's thanks to all of you who come and uh, share my videos with your family and friends and get benefit from my videos. So I think that is it for today. So hope, good luck on your Magic Four Cards. Don't forget, click that description down there, Magic Four Cards. You'll be amazed at how you're going to learn to play those four cards, play some songs using those four cards. And I'll be back in touch with you soon, uh, going over some songs to use with those four cards. So let's go play some guitar and have some fun. Because after all, playing a guitar, it's all about having fun, enjoying it with your family and friends. And it's a gift of a lifetime. It has made so many things in my life so beautiful. Uh, I, I love teaching guitar. I'm, I'm so blessed to have the opportunity to be able to share uh, all the, the years of my teachings with you. Uh, and you will never regret learning how to play the guitar. Never. It's a gift of a lifetime. See you next time.